Welcome to my core and stretch portion of this workout. You can add this at the end of a cardio session that you do on your own or after one of the two workouts that are on the DVD to intensify and give you a longer workout, okay? So all you need for this is tubing. I got a timer, however, true to form, I probably won't keep very good time. It'll always be in my favor, not yours. Okay, we're gonna start with a bicycle crunch. Great way to warm up, get the whole core moving, okay? Hands behind the head. All right, knees up and ready. You're gonna lift and twist and drop one leg while the other knee drives in. 30 seconds, really pick it up. Don't think about how fast I can cycle through. I'd rather you feel the abs pulling you up. Ten more seconds. And release. Slide yourself up for me. Grab on your tubing. Make it about six inches in length. Lock out your arms. Sit up as tall as you can, then lean back. If you want to intensify it, lift your feet up off the ground, okay? And twist. Twist. This is too much for the low back or the hips. Drop the feet down on the ground. Make sure you're twisting through the waist, not the shoulders. And you're pulling apart this tubing too, so you're using some shoulders and upper back. Ten seconds. One more each side. And release. It's tough stuff. Okay, take yourself down onto your mat. Feet in close to your bum and hip width apart. Drive your hips up and let them drop till they hit and kiss the mat and then up again. This is called a glute bridge. Really good for glutes and low back. Don't let your bum sink into the ground too much. You just want it to just graze the mat or the floor and then go back right up again. Really high bridge without letting the knees splay out. Keep them hip width apart as well. So, I did say core training, remember, if we work one side of the body, you've got to balance out the movement, work the other. One more, lift up and hold. Here we go, hold it up, 30 seconds. So you can get the bum up a little higher. Halfway. Really squeeze those cheeks, not the ones on your face. Get them up. Five seconds. And release. Excellent. Okay. Straighten the legs up, arms overhead. Give me an abdominal crunch and open the legs as the arms come through. So it's like so. Try to lift up so your shoulder blades come right off your mat. Three more, two more, last one, and release. Excellent, okay, onto your side, side plank. You have two variations, okay? Modified, stay on the bottom knee, top leg is straight. Lift your hip up and open up, okay? Variation number two, feet stacked, same thing. Lift that hip up and open that chest. Take a peek. Make sure that top arm's lined up with the shoulder, it's not behind the shoulder. Take a peek down, make sure that hip's not dropping to your floor, lift it up. 30 seconds. If you need to drop down on that knee, go right ahead. Start off strong, adjust as you need to. Five seconds. And release, flip. Other side. Elbow under shoulder. Save that shoulder. Pick your variation for the legs and lift. Hold it there. Five 
Five more seconds. Release. Front plank on your belly now. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Here we go. Tuck the toes and lift and hold. If you want to intensify this, take one leg, tap out to your side, center. The other leg, tap out to your side, center. If you do this though, make sure those hips don't shift side to side. They stay strong. series Superman or Wonder Woman for you ladies. Arms out in a V position like at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock on a clock. I want you to point the toes and keep the feet together like the legs are one leg now. Chin in, thumbs up to the ceiling and lift both the upper and lower body up and down. Need my timer. And here we go, 30 seconds. This is really good for the low back muscles. Try to keep those feet together too. 